Hello everyone, I'm Zach, and welcome back to this week's Archery Thursday. Cue intro. Right, uh, so for this week's Archery Thursday, I have been practicing outside and actually shooting and I know a lot of you probably wanting to see some sort of shooting or action something like that so next week that's coming um, but for this week I'm just going to do a talk on why I chose archery if yeah yeah um, I'm gonna try and make it unedited so there's gonna be a lot of spots where I'm just gonna be making like no sense or I'll just like cut out like like that um so yeah so why archery I mean you know <clears throat> in Australia it's typically footy or nothing right um well I was never actually particularly good at footy um that might come as a big shock to some of you I uh, highly doubt that um but yeah I was never really good at footy um, and the only thing I really was good at at school was my music. Um, but I was kind of tired of not really having anything to do with playing on the drums. I kind of wanted something more active, something more immersive to do. I mean, drums are pretty immersive, but yeah. Um, so as much as I liked, you know, practicing drums for a half an hour every day, that I wanted something else to do, something to get my butt off the couch and to stop playing video games. Shh. I'm busy. Anyway. So yeah. So I thought what's something that I could do in this area that would be fun, um, challenging and different. Um, my brother in law um is a mad hunting fishing nuts you know he was into his guns from whenever he was born um is every gun legal in australia not really um but yeah he loves it he's right into it and when he got a bow i sort of thought yeah that's pretty cool um and that was all i really thought um but this was about the time when arrow was sort of coming out you know hunger games uh, Avengers you know all archery sort of coming out so I just thought you know why not I'll, I'll, I'll have a look into it so I had a look into it and I picked out a bow that I liked um, I also thought there's no point in me spending 500 bucks on a bow if I'm never going to use it and you know, if I'm just going to hate this sport so I decided to go with my brother-in-law on a hunting trip um, went hunting for one day and I fell in love. All I was doing was literally just watching. He just taught me how to stalk, how to track, how to hunt. And it's just so cool. I just loved it. Um, so I decided to get myself a bow. Um, so I got myself a bow. Kept on practicing. Went out hunting. Um, actually took, I think it was like six trips before I actually ended up hitting anything or actually getting close enough to shoot. Um, but when I got my first goat um I just felt so good see a lot of people out there throw hunting off either because you know it's cruel to animals or because it's hard hard to get into hard to do um and see a lot of people you know prefer like shooting guns um which drives me nuts I can't get over that because those people have never really shot a bow they've only ever shot a gun and they just say oh I prefer a gun see uh, the reason I like shooting bows is when you draw that bow back I'm gonna get a bit sciencey here so if this goes whoosh, sorry but when you pull that bow back you create potential energy in those limbs in the string once you pulled it back when that potential energy gets released and you pull that trigger on your release aid, 
that turns into kinetic energy which sends that arrow flying into the animal. You're the one who's built that up. You're the one who's created it. You pulled it back. You're the one who's pulling the trigger. With a gun, it's loading it and pulling the trigger. Like, there's nothing else to it. It's just pulling a trigger. With archery, you need constant practice. You need to be able to sort of devote time to it. You don't need too much time, but you need to devote time to it. And that's what I loved. It just got me off my butt so I could actually have something to do. Um, that being said, like I said, archery does require time, but it doesn't mean you have to spend every hour every day doing it. I mean, if you want to, heck yeah, go for it. But, you know, I'll say the minimum would be once a week practice, hours worth of practice. Um, I have not practiced in months. I'm shooting horrific. That's why I'm out there practicing before I actually film it. Because um, <clears throat> I don't want to look like a dipstick, even though I am, um, at shooting. So, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, you can't just sort of pick it up whenever. Like, you can't just sort of say, oh, I won't shoot for the next month or two. Because then you'll be shooting terribly, trust me. Shooting terribly. Um... And that's another thing which I like about it, the consistency in it. It's all about consistency, is archery. You need to be consistent in your stance, you need to be consistent in your shooting, all that sort of stuff. I just love it. It's... <clears throat> I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, I just love it because it's just so much of a... I guess not really... A... See, this is the point where I'm just... I don't have words to say, like, it's a really good hobby. And that's the thing, you don't need to be spending hundreds of dollars on a bow. You can get something like a $60 fiberglass recurve and then still just be out there practicing because it's just fun. In fact, I'll, I'll put a link to uh, in the below, in the below, in the section thing below to where I get my bows from. Um, if you're watching this you know, in South Australia, these guys are really good. Um, they're called Archery Mart in South Australia, Adelaide. <clears throat> uh, these are where I bought both my bows, bought my arrows and all that sort of stuff. Um, they're really good there. Just tell James Isaac sent you. Um, he probably doesn't know who I am. Hi, James. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, check them out. I'm going to put a link to their recurve section just so you can have a look at the you know, fiberglass bows. Um, because it really is just something so fun to do and you don't need to be, you know, hawker. You don't need to be shooting from 1,000 metres and shitting a dime. You know, like tonight I was only shooting at 15 metres and I was getting a tennis ball. So about that big at 15 metres. Not real good, uh, well, good, but not real special when you think about it. Like if someone was to say, oh, I can shoot a tennis ball 15 meters, they'd be like, so what? But it's just still just so fun to do. Like people just think you're just shooting at a target. Trust me, they haven't tried it. Um, yeah, oh, if you don't live in South Australia, um, Abbey Archery is another good company. They ship Australia wide. Um, so yep, check them out. But I would recommend going into an archery shop and getting them to set the bow up to you. In fact, you need to. Um, because then, you know, they'll set it up to your draw length, your weight. Um, they'll cut your arrows to size. They'll make everything good. Um, so, yeah, that's why I chose archery. If any of that gibberish that I just said made any sense to you, Try archery. I want this thing, I want archery to be big. I want you, the watcher, the viewer, to get into archery. I want us to all get good at this together. <clears throat> I'm not good at this. I've only been shooting for a couple of years. Well, three years, I think it is. Four, coming up on four. I've only been shooting for that long. Like, yeah, all up, really, I've probably been shooting only a year. Like, I don't shoot very consistently or very... Um, much so yeah i want this to be a learning thing for all of us i want us all to get into archery start nailing it 
and getting good at it. So, yeah, try archery. Highly recommend it. And hopefully these next few Archery Thursdays videos, wherever it ends up, will get that across and convince you to join archery. So, yeah. That's it. Thank you. Um, signing out. Whatever. Away. I'm going now. I'm, I'm, yep. Early. Early. Yeah.